Hello friends, I welcome you to my YouTube channel Make PM. In today's video, we will so solve these two problems based on the projectile motion. We will uh, apply the law of motions to solve these two problems. Let's read the first problem. How long will it take to uh, a cell fire from a cliff of a uh, cliff at an initial velocity of 800 meter per second at an angle of 30 degree below the horizontal to reach the ground 150 meter below? So let's solve the, this problem first, then we will move to the second problem. So I am moving down this problem. So let's see. This is a cliff. This height is given as 150 meter. This is a cliff. Our initial velocity is given as 800 meter per second at an angle of 30 degree below. So this is horizontal, this is 30 degree and this is 800 meter per second. So these things are given in the problem. So we have to calculate how much time this will take to reach the ground. So you can see that this, this stone or cell will move like this. And at some point, it will reach the level of the ground here. So we have to calculate the how much time it will take to reach there. Okay. So as you know, there's law of motion. One of these is S is equal to UT plus half GT square. Where S is the distance traveled by the particle. U is the initial velocity t is the time taken g is the acceleration due to gravity and here t is time again so you can see that this particle is moving at 30 degree from the horizontal so we can divide into two two parts uh, two components well, first one is the horizontal component and second one is vertical component so this is 800 so this will be 800 cos 30 degree and this one will be 800 sine 30 degree okay so sine 30 degree is 1 by 2 so this will be 800 into 1 by 2 is equal to 400 meter per second downward so we will apply this formula for vertical moment downward moment of the particle or cell because it is moving downward and we have to find uh, the time uh, to reach down so we will see that this vertical height is given for the downward movement it will move 150 meters so see total distance move is s is equal to 150 meter is equal to ut what is the initial velocity in horizontal uh, vertical direction because this is vertical displacement 150 meter so we will put everything vertical in vertical component so u is 400 meter per second into what is time time we don't know we have to find time plus see the particle is moving downward plus acceleration due to gravity is also downward so g will be positive here plus half into g g we can consider 10 into t square so 150 is equal to 400 t plus 10 will divided by 2 so it will be 5 t square this is question number 1 see everything is divisible by 5 so we can divide equation number 1 with 5 so it will be 30 is equal to 80 t plus t square if you take 30 the other side it will be t square minus plus 80t minus 30 is equal to 0 this is equation number 2 and this is a quadratic equation so we can apply this formula t is equal to minus as you know we have roots uh, x1 f suppose this is a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 then we can apply formula x is equal to minus b plus minus root 
b square minus 4ac divided by 2a these are these two are roots of this equation so we will apply same formula here you can see if you compare this equation this equation and this equation so here a is equal to 1 in place of x there is t so a is equal to 1 b is equal to 80 and c is equal to minus 30 so we'll put this value so t will be equal to minus 80 plus minus root 80 square minus 4 into a is 1 into c is minus 30 divided by 2 into 1 so we will get minus 80 plus minus root 6400 plus 120 divided by 2 which will be equal to minus 80 plus minus if you will calculate from the calculator 6400 plus 120 is 6520 so 6520 into root is 80.74 80.746 divided by 2 now you can see that time cannot be negative so this negative term will be not considered if minus 80 minus 80 will be around 160 divided by 2 so time will come uh, into negative terms so time cannot be negative so we will consider the plus root only so it will be minus 80 plus 80.746 divided by 2 so it will be 0.746 divided by 2 which will be equal to 0.373 seconds so we have got our answer see what was the ask in the answer uh, question how long will it take to uh, sell fire from the cliff at the initial velocity is this this to reach the ground so cell will reach the ground in 37.373 second i hope you understand up to here now let's move to the next question see here an egg is thrown horizontally off the roof of si which is 60 meter in height again we will draw it this is roof its height is 60 meter with an initial velocity of 6.5 meter per second see this is thrown horizontally in the previous question it was thrown but uh, at an angle but here it is thrown horizontally 6.5 meter per second is horizontal velocity how long does it take to hit the ground how far does it go in the f direction so it will move like this and hit ground somewhere so we have to find how far it will move so we have to find this r value suppose this is r so we have to find r and time of this hitting the ground okay so let's see again we will apply the same formula s is equal to ut plus half gt square see s is equal to 60 in vertical direction 60 is equal to initial vertical velocity u is initial velocity initial only we have horizontal velocity we don't have any vertical velocity so initial horizontal velocity will be zero so this term will be zero plus half g is 10 meter per second square into t square so we will get 60 is equal to 5 t square so t square will be 60 divided by 5 is equal to 12 so t is plus minus root 12 if you calculate root 12 then you will get three point four six four so you can see that time cannot be negative so t will be 3.464 second so this is the value of t now we have to calculate 
how far does it go in the x direction so you can see that uh, velocity in x direction is u x is 6.5 meter per second so we can apply s is equal to ut plus half gt is half a t square where a is acceleration in x direction so you can see that in x direction there is no force of gravity and there is no initial acceleration so this term will be zero because acceleration is zero in x direction so s is equal to ut where s is distance travel in x direction which is r so it will be r is equal to u initial velocity in x direction is 6.5 into t is total time is 3.464 second so it will be equal to if you multiply this into 6.5 then we will get 22.51 meter so this egg will hit the ground 22.51 meter in horizon ahead of this cliff foot so i hope you understood this problem these two problems if you liked our video then please subscribe and share uh, our video and uh, subscribe our channel thanks for watching this video